Hi Bolt Bakers. In a recent video, I showed you how to make crazy dough. Now crazy dough is one dough that makes a variety of different breads, both sweet and savory, like cinnamon rolls and even pizza. Last week, I used it to make non bread, and this week we're gonna use the same dough to make sweet Nutella loaf. So let's get baking. So like I said, I made this dough in a previous video. It is really easy to make. You just mix it up by hand and you don't need a stand mixer. The recipe for it can be found on biggerbolderbaking.com. And if you're new to my channel, then welcome and make sure you tap that subscribe button. Okay, so I've got my dough here ready to go. And I'm just going to cut it in half. So I'm gonna keep one half here and then I'm gonna put the other half over to the side. Now you want to cover him with a tea towel so he doesn't get the air at him until we're ready to use him. So I'm gonna flare my surface and then I'm gonna roll out this piece of dough to roughly 16 by nine inches. The shape we're going for is a rectangle. So now as I'm rolling, I'm seeing that my dough is springing back. Don't worry about that. That just means that he needs to relax a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is lay over a tea towel, nice and clean one. And then I'm going to let this sit here for around 15 to 20 minutes and then after that time it'll be much easier to roll. Okay so I think my dough had enough time to rest so I'm going to start rolling again. There we go. As you can see it's starting to take shape. Try and get it into the best rectangle that you can. I know it's kind of hard but just try your best. Okay so our dough is looking good. Now for our secret ingredient Nutella. This is gonna make our bread taste so good. You can use homemade or store-bought. One thing you want to make sure is that it is nice and soft so it's easy to spread. So now with a knife, it's gonna go ahead and just gently, you don't want to pull your dough, spread it all over the surface of your dough, leaving a little bit of a perimeter so it has space to spread. So I learned this the hard way, but don't put on too much Nutella because it can actually change the look of your finished bread. You just want a nice thin layer. Okay, lovely. I mean, who does not love Nutella? Nutella and bread, come on, delicious. Our next step is from the long side of the dough, just go ahead and roll it up nice and tight. All the way until it's one big log. Okay, so now we're gonna shape our dough. You know when you go on Pinterest and you see these gorgeous loaves of bread and you wonder how do they do that? Well, I am gonna show you and it is really easy. All you want to do is take a nice sharp serrated knife and then lengthways, carve a big line down the center of your bread, all the way to the end. So you can probably see now all the different layers of Nutella. This is looking great. So now we're gonna bring the two sides together and plait them. So take each piece and bring one over the other and then over the other. You know how to do a plait. Keep on going until the very end. You can really see this starting to take shape. And then all you want to do for the ends, just give them a little bit of a tuck underneath so they don't roll out. That's all you have to do, super simple. You probably couldn't have guessed in a million years how easy it is to get this beautiful look. So here I have a loaf tin and it has been greased. And I'm just going to carefully pop my loaf into my tin. Great. I'm gonna wrap it with cling wrap. And then I'm gonna lay a tea towel over it. Now, this is the exciting part. We're going to let this guy proof. We want to get him to rise up nice and high for around 45 minutes to an hour, and then he'll be ready to be baked off. So my bread has been proofing for around an hour, and just look at that. It's lovely and puffy. It's risen up to the lip of the loaf tin. Now, just to finish it off, I have a little bit of egg wash here. I'm just going to very carefully brush the white bits. You don't have to brush over the Nutella. Just brush the white bits of the bread, getting it all over. I really like to do this because it gives a beautiful finish to the end of your bread. It makes it nice and shiny. Okay, lovely. I think I got all my bits and pieces. One thing I love about this dough is that it's never going to come out the same way twice. It's always going to look different, but still beautiful. Okay, this guy looks amazing and he's ready for the oven. Bake your bread off at 375 degrees Fahrenheit or 190 degrees Celsius for roughly 25 minutes. I'm really excited. It only took a few minutes to bake our Nutella loaf. And just look at how gorgeous it is. You can see all of those lovely weaves. It's beautiful golden brown on top and you would just not believe how great this smells. Oh, I'm gonna let this cool down for around 20 minutes and then we're gonna slice it. Now that my Nutella loaf is cooled down, it's time to carve it. I think you know by now that I cut pretty thick slices. I'm really excited to see how this looks like on the inside. Oh, look at that, look at all the swirls of Nutella. It's absolutely gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Who would have known that that simple little trick would create such a lovely loaf of bread? This loaf was so simple to make and just look at the big and bold results. Everybody is going to love this bread. This is my favorite part of the job. 
Oh, yummy. I don't know about you, but I love bread and chocolate. There's just something so comforting about it. If you like bread and chocolate, you're going to love this recipe. And it was just another fantastic way to use our crazy dough. We know how to make so many of them now. I want you to come back next week because I'm going to show you how you can take this dough and make an Italian focaccia. It's absolutely amazing. I'll see you back here really soon for more bigger and bolder baking.